My eyes are so red. I need to get more sleep. Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here. Welcome to another episode of Deal Hunter Showcase, the series that focuses on the tech and PC hardware deals that all of you out there are finding. This is episode 2. If you missed out on the first one, uh, be sure to check it out. I'll have it in the description section below, uh, where I'll also have a playlist of every episode added to it from here on out. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's check out some of your awesome pickups. First up, we have Jerry L. from Anaheim, California. He picked up 16 gigabytes of 3200 MHz Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM for $100. Now this was back in August when RAM prices weren't as bad as they've gotten today, but still at that time, they were still an all time high. All of 2017 was basically a steady increase in DDR4 prices, and models of this tier and capacity were floating around $160 at the time. Fortunately, the ad was still up for him to grab a screenshot as proof, and he still had the back and forth messages from the transaction. It was a great price at the time and an even way better price now, so thank Thank you for submitting that to the showcase, Jerry. Next is Sam from Germany who says he's always broke but he likes to check eBay to try to find good deals. He came across a used GTX 780 for 100 euro which is about 125 US dollars. This price may not look too appealing to US viewers but hearing about how everyone else around the world consistently has to deal with higher prices and then on top of that to add the all time highs for GPU prices I decided to showcase this deal. I also really like the look of it too. It's a pallet card which is not a brand that's sold in the US. We don't have anything listed on their website as far as retailers go but from what I've gathered they have their own brand but they also also act as an ODM and have produced cards for other companies, including ones like PNY, which we do have here in the US. I'm loving the fact that some of these deals you guys are submitting to me are requiring me to do some extra research because uh, some of these things I never would have learned about otherwise. So uh, thank you for submitting that, Sam, and awesome looking card. The next deal comes from really close by to me, from Oscar W of Bellevue, Washington. And for reference, Bellevue is where I picked up the system that I did the PC flipping challenge video with Ofa with. And shameless plug, definitely go check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, but Oscar had a GTX 1080, but he sold it during mining season for a profit. So he was looking for a replacement and he was able to get a reference GTX 780 from Letgo. From the text, it's kind of funny because it seems like the seller didn't know what he had because he listed it as a GTX 680. But then Oscar pointed out that it didn't look like a 680. So the seller rechecked it and it turns out he had a 780 and what I love about this deal is after the seller found out it was a 780 uh, He only asked for five dollars more and in the nicest way possible too After reading the text conversation the seller just seemed like a super nice dude and just overall polite in general Which is the most ideal situation you can ask for in these used deal transactions I think the performance difference between those two cards are definitely worth more than $5, so Oscar definitely got a steal paying only $65 for it. The card ended up working just fine with no issues, and he was actually able to overclock it a bit. So nice find, Oscar. I hope this card serves you well while we get through these crazy prices, uh, and thank you for sharing your pickup on the showcase. Next we have Leonard from Germany who picked up a Razer Black Widow 2014 keyboard on Facebook Marketplace. After shipping it cost him 16 euro 50 which is roughly 20 US dollars. At this price he thought there was something wrong with it because that's pretty cheap for a big name mechanical keyboard. When he received it though it turns out the only thing wrong with it was that one of the flip out feet was missing uh, and it was extremely dirty with food particles sticking onto the keycaps. That just sounds so gross. Well, all the keys were working fine and the pass through USB and audio ports worked so that was a plus. And he cleaned it up a bit and has been using it with no issues since. He says he thinks the seller of the keyboard was a mother that was either cleaning out her son's old stuff or was selling it to stop him from gaming so much. Um, but either way, Leonard got a solid keyboard for a solid price. Thanks for submitting it to the showcase. I actually have the version of the Black Widow before that one, the one that used Cherry MX Blues but it didn't have the USB or audio pass throughs. And I gotta say, it was a really solid keyboard regardless of how people feel about Razer products. I know the MSRP of them are usually pretty high but when you get used deals like this and they're in pretty good condition then can't complain. Next up we have Josh R from Los Angeles. He's able to pick up a used GTX 1080 that he saw on Facebook Marketplace for only $200. Now this was back in October when prices weren't super terrible. Used 1080s were going for around four to five hundred dollars, and I know this because I picked one up around that time for four hundred fifty dollars for a build that I did for a friend of mine. So two hundred dollars is a steal. Josh said that he contacted seller as soon as the post went up, like within the first minute, and he didn't believe it at first because the person used stock images from Google on the listing, but he went for it anyways because why not? And the guy ended up sending actual pictures eventually uh, while they were messaging, and then he went to check it out, and it was really 
upgrading a GTX 1080. The seller's offloading it for cheap because he had upgraded to a 1080 Ti and that's all there was to the story. So awesome find Josh and I gotta commend you for uh, one-upping my GTX 1070 deal that I found for $200 and you probably have a whole bunch of viewers out there right now who are super jealous of this deal you got. Uh, but thanks for submitting to the showcase. Coming all the way from Sweden, we have David L who got a really good deal looking for a case trying to finish off a build for his little brother. Uh, he posted an ad on a local Facebook group in his small hometown and it just stated that he was looking for a cheap case. Any cheap case. The only requirement was that it holds PC parts and basically has a power button. And someone replied to his post saying that they had a case, motherboard, power supply, and CPU for sale. The seller didn't know what it was, but provided pictures, and it turned out to be some pretty good stuff. The case was a Cooler Master Elite 430, pretty standard and nothing special, but inside was where all the good stuff was. First, there was a P67 Sabertooth motherboard, which alone is worth close to $100 on eBay. There was an i5 2500K with a stock cooler, and that still holds its own pretty well today in modern titles, and a silver power 500 watt 80 plus power supply. All this came out to only 400 Swedish kronas, which is a little bit less than 50 US dollars. This was an awesome pickup, David. Thank you for submitting to the showcase. Next we have Phil S from Tennessee who found an amazing deal on Goodwill's website. He found an auction for a custom Corsair computer, which was listed for parts only. And he was interested in it because the ad specified that it had a Z170 motherboard and a 600 watt power supply. The big items like the CPU and GPU were unknown, but he figured that a system with a Z170 board must have had at least decent parts for the rest of it. Uh, so he took the risk and ended up winning it for a total of $236 after shipping. When he finally got it, he quotes, Words cannot express how I felt when I opened this thing up yesterday. I felt like a little kid on Christmas morning. This was because the first thing he saw inside when he opened it up was a 500GB Samsung EVO SSD. On top of that, it had a Hyper 212 EVO in it, which upon removal, he saw an i7-6700K in the socket. So he indeed bet correctly on this mystery PC. He got it booted up and working, and to his surprise, the RAM ended up being 16GB of DDR4 instead of 8GB as the ad originally listed. So this mystery computer exceeded his expectations, except for one thing. The GPU. It had a Radeon HD5850 in it, a card that's over 8 years old and is a huge bottleneck to the system. That is a horrible pairing with the rest of the parts, but overall in the end it doesn't even matter because he still got his money's worth and then even beyond that in my opinion. So great pickup Phil and thanks for submitting it to the showcase. And last but not least, we have an epic find and story from Barty1884 of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. He hunts for local hardware deals a lot on Kijiji and he flips them and for those of you who don't know, uh, Kijiji is a popular site to sell locally in Canada. They have Craigslist too but it's nowhere near as popular as Kijiji uh, from what I've been told by my Canadian friends. So he found a gaming PC that had very little info on the ad and was listed for 500 Canadian dollars which is roughly 390 US dollars. The seller didn't know much about the system because it wasn't theirs to begin with. Uh, it was collateral for money that they had lent to a friend who I guess never paid them back so now they were selling it to recoup that money. So what Barty did was talk to the guy to try to find out how much was still owed for the computer and the guy said he needed to recover 300 Canadian dollars which is about 230 US dollars. While the ad didn't have too much information, from the pictures he could tell that at least there was an R9 280X, uh, either an FX 8000 or 6000 CPU in it, a motherboard, RAM, it's, it was basically a full system. So after picking it up, it turns out he actually scored a ton of stuff. Here's a list of everything. It actually ended up being a pretty decked out system, even though it's starting to show its age a bit. Uh, it was definitely pretty high tier for its time, and I'd say it still performs decently well today. I mean, you got an FX8350, 16GB of G-Scale Rope Jaws, uh, Noctua NHD14, a Sabertooth 990FX motherboard, 250GB Samsung SSD, a whopping 10TB worth of mechanical drives, a 1000W 80 plus bronze rose wheel modular power supply, a PCIe capture card, not one but it ended up being two R9 280Xs, uh, and a Cooler Master case. He parted everything out and ended up with just over triple the amount he put into it. This is the beauty of the used market. Sometimes the person selling to you just has no idea what it's worth and you end up hitting the jackpot. Uh, so thank you for submitting that to the showcase, Marty1884. And that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of the showcase. Of the deals featured, which one would you have liked to come across for yourself? Uh, for me, it's gotta be that $200 GTX 1080 that Josh R submitted because uh, that one-ups the deal that I got for my own 1070. And it's a reference style blower uh, Founders Edition card, which while I know doesn't have as good of performance as other versions of it, um, I just have a soft spot for that cooler design. I just think it looks so cool. Uh, but let me know what you would choose in the comments below. And also, if you got a good deal recently, uh, feel free to submit it to the showcase. Instructions will be in the description. 
Um, but if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and uh, consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Uh, hit that little bell notification if you want to be alerted whenever I upload new content. Thank you as always for watching. I really do appreciate it. This series is so much fun to do. Uh, and I hope you're enjoying watching the episodes as much as I enjoy, you know, putting them together and editing them. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the comments as well as in the next video. Bye.